And my next guest is its chief project scientist. He's got a lot to be proud about. Please welcome Dr. Matthew Gollumbeck. Pathfinders just looking at the ancient environment on Mars, mm -hmm. whether water could have been even stable early on in Mars' history. Now, if you find something, it's going to probably be a fossilized unicelled organism or yeah, something like that. we're not even going to, we can't even find life. But don't you think you, really? Yeah, we're, we're rock. We want to look at rocks. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> no, rocks are really good. <laughs> you cannot name rocks after your dog or family members or anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, Look you want to call it, you know, our, our rock 632, that's dumb. Sounds you know? kind of cool yeah, to me. <laughs> Scooby-Doo, that's uh -huh. what you're talking. Yeah, <laughs> no? <laughs> you really like Scooby-Doo, don't you? Scooby yeah, you, you know, know I, think, I don't I mean, think we're going to learn as much about Mars. We're going to learn about, a lot about your life, I think. <laughs> well, the little engine that could did, and... <laughs> We are uh, just absolutely boggled by the fact that uh, this fairly complex design that we've been thinking about and stewing over and testing and, and uh, trying to make work really did the job. And uh, I lost this bet. I, there, this lander has four sides uh, as a tetrahedron should, uh, but what's the odds of rolling down in the base pedal, huh? One in four. Uh, it, I, I picked it was gonna do this. Uh, this spacecraft rolled to a stop just like this. And we didn't have to roll, we didn't have to uh, open the pedals to right itself as we had designed it to do and tested oh so many times. So, uh, so it, you know, if people ask, well, how do you write yourself? Well, we don't have to write ourselves. We didn't, we didn't have to this time and uh, uh, didn't need these pedals after all, Richard says. <laughs> 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 We've had an excellent week on Mars. We have an extraordinarily healthy lander, an extraordinarily healthy rover, and extraordinarily healthy instruments, and I've already told you that the landing site was perfect. And all that continues to be the case. The project has essentially declared 100% mission success. Uh, we also got a very nice note from Wes Huntress, and NASA also considers the 100% mission success. Uh, and at this point, you know, we're really, uh, even though we're, we're, from a technical point of view, 100% successful, we're going to go on and do a lot of other really exciting things over the next month, few months, hopefully. The traditional weather report, the um, forecast for today is a deeply unpleasant minus 109 degree Fahrenheit minimum, and a relatively balmy 7 degree Fahrenheit uh, uh, maximum temperature for the day. The joy that fills my heart has overflowed my body and risen to the heavens and has reached to Mars. We've had a, a success certainly beyond my wildest dreams and I suspect I can speak for just about everybody. Nobody expected things to go as wonderfully. Uh, to, to have landed in such an interesting place and to have been able to experience that place so completely as we have through the uh, excellent performance of the camera and the rover and on the rest of the spacecraft. You want a landing site? I give you a landing site. Oh, no. You didn't tell us going to be that long. You want a landing site? I deliver.